This is Loch Marie, possibly the finest freshwater loch in Scotland. Look at lovely wooded cliffs here, mountains around, and fine forested islands, old ancient pine forest. It's also a potentially dangerous loch. A lot of Big choppy waves, crosswinds, all sorts of stuff goes on out here. So that's a rare bit of more or less natural woodland up there, the hillside. Now there is some woodland lower down on the other side. There's some nice, nice bits of woodland on the other side still. And steeper ground mostly. And on the islands. Everywhere else is burned, of course. It's all burned over there. Everywhere. It's all burned. Here is uh, more or less vertical. It's uh, nearly a hundred meters high. The water is probably very deep at this point. Probably a hundred meters deep. And here it is for the fit and the keen. I am neither. That is serious water out there. It is seriously lumpy, steep, and rough. Garden Hills. Beautiful. The wind seems to have gone. Zigzag your way back down. Makes for a good little tour.
worth doing when you're in this area is a little short river trip down the river you can get down here for about at least a mile as long as it isn't in spate you can see how the rich live their fancy Loch Stroke Riverside houses with their silly grassy lawn. I wouldn't be at all surprised if it was a holiday home. About a third of all houses in the Highlands are empty in rural rural areas. I would estimate. There's something in that one. Stinking yappy dog. You can cut a channel right through the oak and birch wood for the electricity line. Treats her fancy house over there. This is a lovely little paddle. shift get white water ahead just about hit the, the shallows time to return That's it, beautiful Loch Marie.